Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are in Flemington, New Jersey at a dealership called Fred Beans. Now, if you've been around the channel a while, you know this dealership. I've bought four Toyotas from here, two Tundras, a Forerunner, and a Highlander. Well, we have returned, ladies and gentlemen, and we're going to check out their Tundra inventory. Fred Beans, there you go. Now, I will tell you there's a main road right here, and it is very loud. So it's not like our normal settings lately where we're in the back of a lot and it's quiet. It's going to be a little bit louder, so hopefully the mic does the job just fine. We got three, maybe about seven new Tundras, and there are some used ones to my right. So let's see what they got. It's also 37 degrees out right now, so we're not going to be able to see inside the vehicles very well. I warn you ahead of time. I like what they've done here. Right under the main sign, three iForce Maxes. There's a Nightshade, Celestial Silver. There's a 1794 Windchill, and a Smoke Mesquite down at the end and that looks like a limited so let's walk them automatically this is going to be my favorite one of the day i can tell you right now so nightshade five and a half foot bed crew max lately we've been seeing this setup but in a six and a half foot bed this one here celestial silver looks so good this might be the color i know i said mag gray a few weeks ago is the color for nightshade this might be the color for nightshade all the gray and the black works together well what does nightshade give you 450 dollars add-on package and it basically blacks out all of the chrome. Got that <clears throat> black badge in front, the black limited grill. Actually, I shouldn't say that because the limited grill is more of a gray, but they black it out for nightshade. You get the black 20 inch wheels, black badging, black window molding, power folding mirrors. You can't really see on the inside here, but there's the 14 inch screen, heated, ventilated memory seats, soft text. That's standard on limited got that black rear bumper just a good looking truck that might be the color and before we even really look at the lineup this is probably going to be my favorite today i could just tell you already it even has the uh bed lights and the outlet and that is not standard on limited so make sure if you're going to buy one of these tundras you know what you're getting first all right let's see what we got so this has the nightshade package. It has JBL, limited premium package. And that's the LED headlights, auto leveling. PVM is on here. Limited power package is what I was talking about for the bed lights, as you can see there. Sorry if I'm shaking a little, it's freezing. 65, 549, 65, 848. So there's a security code thing for 300 extra. So a little bit of a markup, I guess. I don't know the status of this dealership with markups and stuff. Um, if there's any deals going on or whatnot, but never hurts to ask. And we move on, 1794. Big chrome grill up front, 20 inch gray wheel. I say gray, maybe more machine silver, but not so much chrome. iForce Max. On the inside, we have, I don't know if you could see that well, Saddle Brown. Now, don't forget, because it is a 1794 panel roof, JBL, genuine leather, heated, ventilated memory, all standard. Everything is standard when it comes to 1794 and platinum. This has a spray on bed liner. The bed lights and outlet are standard as well on this model. Yeah, Windshield Pro looks good. Very, very good. Sequential tail lights. So this has special color, so it is windshield pearl. Spray on bed liner, bed extender, paint protection film, USB phone charging cable kit. That's always funny to me. 70 bucks there. $72,072. $72. And there is no markup sticker on this. This is a 2023. So this one they'll probably make a really good deal on. Because I'm sure they want to get rid of their 2023s at this point. But being it's an iForce Max, you see that. Well, this is funny. Here's something that I never actually have seen. I get it. But anytime it's hybrid, there's like a blue outline. But this is hybrid. And it's just the black badge because that was probably added after the fact. Just a little fun Easter egg. And here we have uh, just a regular Limited. Now, a limited iForce Max without the TRD off-road package is kind of rare. You don't see that very often for some reason. Chrome rear bumper plates, blacked out badging, smoke mesquite. 
So right now, I'm basically telling myself I'm going to do this. I'm going to put up a picture of this. This is smoked mesquite with all the chrome on it. And that one we saw last week, that was um, TRD Off-Road on the 2024 Limited, which body colors and blacks everything out. And just tell me what you think the differences are when it comes to how it looks with chrome and without. Because without chrome, it looks like a different truck. This one here is a 2023. It is loaded up pretty nice. 67291 on the price, and this is what's in it. A lot of stuff. JBL, limited premium, limited power, PVM. This says it does have the panel roof. Am I not seeing that? It does have the panel roof. So this thing is fully loaded. 67, but it's a 2023. So like I said, I do see at the end of every month, this dealership puts up a post basically saying any reasonable offer will be accepted because they want to make their monthly goals. It looks like we got four down here. Four Tundras. And then there's a bunch of used it looked like on the other side. I saw a really cool one. Let's see what we got. I can tell you right off the bat, Platinum. Let's see, Platinum. Another Platinum. Capstone, all right. And another Platinum. We got a lot of Platinums today. And this is where it's going to be really loud, so bear with me. So it looks good. Midnight Black Metallic. It has the Tundra inlay which I'm a huge fan of, 4x4, blacked out badging. This has, this is something you don't see every day. This has the manual bed step and manual side steps. Usually when you see the Platinum, it has the power ones. So that probably means the dealer did it. It also has the uh, extender, which is insanely easy to install if you're ever wondering about doing that. Here's the front of the truck while there's not a lot of traffic coming iForce Max, Platinum, gotta love the black, gotta love the dark chrome on it, just looks so good. Let's see the pricing. This one here is a 2023, they got a lot of 2023s left over. Not a lot of crazy stuff on it, as you can see. It started its life at 67,505, and now it's 72,320, 72,619 there because of that security code, which I don't know what that means. I'll be honest with you. If anybody knows, comment below. But once again, like we saw over there with some of those high trims, uh, you know, this is an iForce Max as well, but with Platinum, this is the same as the 1794. I always call it like a sister trim. And the similarity is they have the same luxury features. The difference is the 1794 is Western themed. I always say this is the best color for Platinum. We haven't seen a TRD off-road platinum up here yet. Can't wait to see that, but this one here looks really good. Can't go wrong. Now, this one here has the power bed step and the power side steps. This one has the manual. You could kind of see the difference in it. This one has that little area to kick down. That one looks like a little more thin. Blacked out 4x4. Four four. Cool part, in case you don't know. Capstone, 1794 and platinum. Say the name of the trim down on the bottom of the door. While limited in SR5, say Tundra down there. And SR and TRD Pro say nothing. Nice looking truck. Let's see the year. This is a 2024. Doesn't have a lot on it. It has that 10-inch heads-up display, which is now available as a standalone option for 2024. 68754, 69053 because of that security code again. And that's her up front. As you can see, pano roof, that's standard. See, if it's between the black and the silver, I'm going silver all day long. This is a regular iForce, by the way. Huge fan. I just love the Platinum. If there was a good deal and I was offered a Platinum, if I was offered this Platinum, I would probably take it. I just love the Platinum. I've always been a fan of it, but... With the new generation and seeing them as often as I do, they've really shot up my list. I mean, 1794 is my favorite. I do like the look of the TRD Pro nowadays, uh, but there's just something about platinum, especially celestial silver. Certain colors look really good on it. This one here is a capstone. This is the what we always say, the flagship trim of Tundra. 22-inch factory wheels. It's got chrome all over it, but one thing 
I want to talk about real quick about Capstone that I like about it is I always call it the Denali of Tundra because, you know, I mean, all the chrome, all the crazy stuff on the interior. It has a unique interior, uh, semi aline leather, like it's loaded nicely, but it's not overdone to where the chrome is gross. Like, sure, it has chrome wheels, some chrome trim going on, but it's not nasty. And it looks really good on a color like Celestial Silver Metallic. I think you'll agree with that one, right? That Tundra inlay comes standard with uh, Capstone. I think that's just a beautiful truck. Even the grill up front is unique to the truck. I like that they've done so much unique. So this one doesn't say it has the ABS suspension, and that kind of shocks me because it just looks lower. It's a 2024, and ABS is not standard. ABS is an add-on package. And the load leveling rear height control, that's an add-on for Capstone. So shocked by that. 81,708 is the price. They want that 299 again, so 82,007 if you can't see it. But 81,708. First thing I would say is like, yeah, I'm not paying for that security code. So, obviously, iForce Max, it's the only way it comes. iForce Max, Crew Max, five and a half foot bed, four by four. That's how you got to get this. But that's a beautiful truck. One of my favorites of the day. Like I said, it's all chromed out, which I'm not a huge fan of when they're all chromed out. But it's chromed in a way that it's not obnoxious, I guess would be the perfect way to say it. So, Celestial Silver capstone celestial silver platinum midnight black platinum up here those iforce maxes right there the sun coming up daylight savings was last night and that's a huge pain so the last new one before we go look at the used we have a black platinum that looks really good with the blacked out badge in the back just from this spot right here with the uh dark chrome wheels and the dark chrome accenting i mean midnight black is a great color if you want everything to blend in nicely this one doesn't look like it even has a sticker on it. iForce Max up front. It's obviously a new truck. I'm going to circle around the other side to see. But, I mean, premium auto leveling headlights, dark chrome accenting, dark chrome grill, dark chrome wheels, platinum down on the side that goes along with the midnight black exterior. Very nice truck. All right, let's see if there's a sticker on this side. Doesn't look like there's a sticker on this truck, so I will go on their website and see if, uh, you know, the truck actually does have a sticker. That's beautiful. Okay, so of the new ones, as we walk over to used, which one are you taking home? Black Platinum, Silver Capstone, Silver Platinum, another Black Platinum, Limited in the Smoke Mesquite. 1794, not TRD off-road, big chrome grill up front, or Nightshade Limited. For me, all day long, twice on Sundays, which it is Sunday now, that's the one I'm taking home. That thing's beautiful. That's totally the winner. All right, let's go see what they got on the used side. This is a pretty big lot. Um, it is on a very main road. As I don't know how you'll be able to hear the traffic or not, if it's annoying because the mic is pretty good at cutting things out. So again, if the mic is annoying, I apologize. But I did see a used Tundra when I was coming in here that is worthy of a video. You're probably starting to be able to see it. Solar Octane could be a 2022 or 2023 because that was the special color for TRD Pro for both years. Why did they do two years in a row? I don't know, but if I had to estimate and guess, I would think it was because the 2022 were, were very hard to get with everything going on with inventory issues and stuff. They probably just ran it another year. Got a Ram Rebel sitting here. All right, so it looks like we got a second gen SR5, another second gen SR5, but it's TRD off-road, and then this beautiful Solar Octane TRD Pro. When I look at this truck, it makes me miss the black one that I had. I love the wheels. I love the tires. I love the stance of the truck. It's got a one and a half inch lift up front to uh, really level it out. TRD Pro across the bed. Got the marker lights front and rear. 
sequential tail lights built off of a limited platform. So it has the JBL sound system. It has the pano roof. It only comes hybrid. It only comes crew max and it only comes five and a half foot bed with the four by four. It's just very plain. And I mean that in a way, and I know the color's loud and you're probably like, what do you mean plain? I just mean, when you look at the truck, there's not a ton of badging going down the side. There's no splash graphics. For instance, I can actually do this comparison while we're here. This is a Rebel. And it has a giant Rebel down the side. Now the Rebel is a competitor of the TRD Pro. So it's very plain. It doesn't even say the name of the truck down there. It actually says it up on the hood. Uh, where it would say iForce Max on other Tundras. This has the bed light standard. This is a spray on bed liner Tundra. This is a nice truck. Looks like the stickers on the other side. This has the black TRD Pro interior. You could get red or black interior on the TRD Pro, but when it came to Solar Octane, you had to get uh, the black interior because could you imagine how gnarly this truck would look if it had the red interior? Oh my God. With the sun coming up behind it, that thing is beautiful. BFG all-terrain. Somebody upgraded the tire to a BFG KO2, and it looks way better, in my opinion. TRD light bar, Toyota Heritage grill. I mean, that's a good-looking truck, and it solar octane's amazing. And with the sun coming up, it makes it look completely orange. And that's the thing about the special colors for TRD Pro, is every time you're in different light, shade, cloud cover, direct sunlight, it looks completely different. All right, let's see pricing. This says was $74,000, 2022 Tundra, 19306 on miles. I wonder what it is, if it was 74. If I see anything online, I will let you know. Uh, looks like it gives a whole lineup of the certified stuff about the tires, the brakes and all that. Here's a good shot of the interior. See those TRD Pro seats. There's camo in there. They're heated, ventilated memory seats, soft text, of course. You got camo. You got the dual TRD exhaust. You can see that down there. It's just a really nice truck. And it's a special truck. I mean, it's, it's loud in the color. But once again, as far as the features go, it's really not a big deal. So that is definitely something to uh, appreciate. Would you take this truck home? Don't forget, Solar Octane is not on the Pro at all anymore. It's now on SR5 and Limited. So there it is. I hope it's... Uh, you know, it says was 74, I believe was the price. I hope it is now into the mid 60s, but you know, hopes and dreams, my friends, hopes and dreams. This one here, SR5, TRD Off-Road, absolutely can't go wrong. This has single exhaust on it. I love these trucks. Second gen Tundras are amazing. 5.7 V8, can't go wrong. Tried and true. So it looks like I got to keep going to the other side to get to the sticker. Traffic is kicking up as the morning gets later. I apologize for the noise once again. A little bit of chrome, chrome end caps, chrome grill surround. This has uh, the LED headlights on it, LED fog lights. You can see it has the parking sensors down there, which means it also has blind spot monitoring. They come together on Tundra. So this is a 2019. So this still has key start. 2020 on the Tundra is when push button start began. There is no moonroof because it is SR5 and you can't get any kind of moonroof on SR5, unless you're in Canada. $36,000, $100,000, $168 on miles. So there you go. You guys always want to know used values. 100,000 mile truck, 37, 36,000. 2019, before all the craziness happened in the world, this truck, this is a nicely packaged SR5, was probably around 46,000, 47,000. Just to give you a general idea. Blacked out badging. Here's something that blows my mind, and I rarely get to show you this. Okay, I want to show you something. See how this says 4x4 back here? It is not a TRD off-road, okay? It is not a TRD sport. No label on the side. You can just tell. 4x4. Now, this one doesn't have a badge back here, but it says TRD 4x4 on the side. So what Toyota did was when it went TRD 4x4 off-road up here, it deletes the 4x4 badge back there. The little things I want to teach you guys about Tundra, new and old. So 100,000 miles on this 5.7 V8, you probably got years and years left on it because the engine goes forever. So, hey, if you're in the market and next door, if you don't like the TRD off-road, a regular SR5 with another uh, tire that is aftermarket on it. 
silver sky metallic. It wasn't called celestial silver yet. Uh, chrome, this doesn't have bumper sensors or anything, as you can see. Sensor, no sensors. On this generation of Tundra, if you had any kind of sensors in the back, it body colored the rear bumper. So that's always a rule of thumb when you're walking up to it. Also has the 5.7 V8 SR5 Crew Max. That window goes all the way down. That window goes all the way down. Price of this puppy, 43.5, 33,000 on the miles. So this is a great deal, 2020. But we have to check because this doesn't have the bumper with the sensors on it. That also means that it's a lower trim SR5. Now, when they switched to push button start in 2020, the lower trim SR5 and SR stayed with the key start. So we're going to see right now what level this is. I saw a floor mounted shifter in there, but it looks like I can't really tell. This is a key start. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. You see the keyhole? So this is a lower end SR5. This is not loaded up. And once again, we knew that because of the lack of sensors. Halogen headlamp with the LED strip versus the LED headlights in general. So this used to be the premium headlight on like your 1794 and platinum, but when they went LED, it went to the lower trims. So 2020 still has the key start. So the push button started in the SR5. You just had to have the SR5 package that was loaded up to get it. And that and all the trims above it got push button start. All right, so out of the used, which one you take at home? I think everybody's collectively going to say that to Yardy Pro, but I really like this black 2019 here. It'd be between these two. I passed on Solar Octane when I got my Pro, and sometimes I regret it, but sometimes I don't. I got the black with the red interior. I had it for about six months, but uh, that's a really nice truck there. So, all right, let me know what you think in the comments below. That is it from Freddie Beans Toyota here in Flemington, New Jersey. A really nice display of Tundra. We saw a lot of iForce Max up there. Still a lot of 2023s here. So if you're in the market, hit up the website. I bought four Toyotas from this place. They're good people here. Definitely some good people uh, that I still keep in contact with to this day. So I'm going to say the limited nightshade up there for me here. And if you're forcing me to make a decision, I'm going to say this guy right here. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34. Oh yeah, TikTok as well. TundraDude34 at gmail.com from Flemington, New Jersey, Fred Beans Toyota. I hope you have a great day. Be safe and be well.